Hi y'all. Sorry for the lovely background of all my billion boxes. <laughs> Still working on it. I have my ice cream box for me. Came to the old house. I missed changing the address in time and the kids brought it over. Oh, my hair's all sticky outy. Alrighty, so I already took out the little styrofoamy things, only they're not styrofoam, they're dissolvable. So this is all that's in there. Lots of stuff today. I think I added this up earlier, if I remember right. It, it's, um, you only pay like, it's 20, 21 something plus shipping. So it ends up just right around $30. For, per box and I added up the value on all this and it was $118 this time. So let's see what we got. We have all of these little mini eyeshadowy things. What are they calling it? Um, IBY Beauty Eyeshadow Bundle. There's five of them. So for worth $25. So these must be $5 each, which seems a little pricey to me, but Eyeshadow can be expensive, so maybe not. So this one is City Limits. You get these itty bitty little eyeshadow things. This one's kind of a pretty pink. This one is poolside. I think I have this big palette, this poolside one. So I probably have this color in my poolside one. Looks like it might be a pink also. It is, it's a sparkly pink. I may put this one in a giveaway because I'm pretty sure I have this whole poolside palette. So I'm sure this color is in the poolside palette. So I'll put this one aside. There's another City Limits. I think I've got three City Limits ones. I don't think I have that palette. This one's looks like a gray blue maybe by the container anyway. Let's see, how do I get this open? Yes, it is a really pretty, pretty blue. Keep that one. This one is Enlighten. And I know I don't have this palette. I already cut these open. I just gotta find the end that I cut them open on. <laughs> this one looks like it's a green because looks like whatever color the little outside is is what the inside is. Of a almost what I call an army green. And last but not least, another city limits one. It's like another kind of pinkish one. I'll have to compare it to the other one to see how close they are because they're the same palette. Oh, this is more of a dark, definitely not the same color. This is the other one. See, this one's a lot lighter than that one. Alrighty. So we got these five. Doce, D-O-U-C-C-E, Doce? I don't know, lip defining pencil. I don't wear lip liners, probably should, but I don't. So this one will probably get, go into a giveaway. It's kind of a pinkish color. And I 
believe there's a lipstick that goes with it. Well, that's a different brand, but I bet the color colors are similar. Or why would they put them together? Oh, it's a lip gloss. Yeah, you know how I feel about lip glosses. I'm not a real fan of lip glosses. But this one looks like it's nice and dark, so this one I actually might like, as long as it's not sticky. It's when they're sticky, I don't like them. And if I keep it, then it's sticky, I'll be mad. But if I don't test it and give it away, and I wish you want it, I'll be mad. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that one. And here we have fake eyelashes, but they're the magnetic kind. You get the little magnetic eyeliner stuff, and then these I might actually be able to wear because I can't wear fossil eyelashes mostly because I'm allergic to adhesive. But with these magnetic ones, in June, I'm doing a collab with a bunch of other ladies and we're going to do a rocker chick look and whatever era you want. <laughs> so these would come in handy with a rocker, rocker chick look. So I may hang on to these and try the magnetic deal. See if I can make it work. We'll see. So we got the magnetic eyelashes and eyeliner to make the magnetic part work. Oh, there's one more thing in here. Didn't even notice it. It was covered with a bubble wrap and it's a palette. Let's see what it says about it. Oh, I should have been giving you prices. Um, it says this is basic blue blush and shadow palette, $42. The eyeshadow little individual ones were $25. The magnetic lashes were $13, and the liner to go with it was $13. The lip liner was $22. No way I'd pay $22 for that. And the matte liquid lipstick was 16. This is, ooh, that's really cute. I love tulips. It looks like a bunch of tulips. I think probably this side's the blush side and then these are the shadows. That might be a highlighter. I mean, uh, not a highlighter, a uh, contour. But you could probably use them all for shadows too. Aren't those pretty? I love the love the package that it's in where they look like tulips. <laughs> probably tells you stuff about it, but look at that. White. I don't know why they use white ink. Then you can't read. I mean, this is very easy to read, that number and that. But this is impossible to read. Why did they do that? So anyway, I got this very pretty. Very pretty tulipy eyeshadow blush combo. Then magnetic lashes and liner. All five of these. A lip pencil and a liquid matte lipstick. I'm going to keep four of these and give away the fifth one. So I think that was, well, I like IBY because you always get all makeup. Now, I was almost embarrassed when I started unpacking because <laughs> I um, have big, deep drawers in my old house. And here I've got a, like a rolling cart with little shallow drawers. And I filled up three shallow drawers with eyeshadow eye palettes plus this big about this big of a basket that's like eyeshadow palettes so i think i have too many eyeshadow palettes <laughs> i know couldn't there be too many but i'm keeping that tulip one so i'm adding one more to the bunch but that's what i like about them is you always get a palette with um ice cream it may not always be eyeshadow but i've gotten 
blush and highlighter or whatever, other kinds of palettes, but you always get a palette. And it's almost always eyeshadow. So I think it's well worth the $30 because, I mean, I think it's a little overpriced like that. I'll, that eyeshadow palette was $42, but some eyeshadow's expensive. I never heard of Base Blue, but maybe it's a really good brand and I'm just a peasant and never heard of them. <laughs> So tomorrow I'm going to lunch with some friends and I'm going to go apply for my, now that I'm back in my home, I, in Texas we have what's called a homestead exemption and it takes $25,000 off the value of your house as far as taxes are concerned. So you can't, I couldn't get that because I wasn't living in the house. Even though I owned the house, I wasn't living in it and you have to live in it. So I'm gonna go apply for that and along with it, you can freeze your taxes after 65, and I'm seven years past 65, but I didn't live in the house for the last seven years. If I could have froze it seven years back, my taxes would have been about two thirds less than they are now. But I couldn't freeze them at the time because I wasn't living in the house, so I'm freezing them now before they go up anymore because it's crazy. I mean, that's the main reason why I have to get like a renter in here is because the uh, insurance on the house and the taxes are so high that I can't live on just my social security. If I, because I don't even have a payment anymore. It's just the, the insurance and the taxes that are killing me. If I didn't have such high insurance and taxes, I could probably live, afford to live by myself. I had a friend come over today. She brought me over a table and chairs. It's really cute, like a, it's like a real wood, not press wood or anything. Kind of a cherry look, table, little round table and a um, couple, couple chairs to go with it. So I don't need a big table with, you know, just me and any guests I have. I probably wouldn't have more than three at a time. So if I had more than that, we could just sit on the couch that I don't have and, and eat. <laughs> but, um, just every time I turn around, one of my friends blesses me. Just today at church, somebody said, oh, we have a recliner that we've never even opened. It's still in the box. Do you want it? And I'm like, sure, <laughs> why, why wouldn't I? So I'm getting a recliner next week when they have a chance to hook up with me and get it, give it to me. It's crazy how much I've gotten from other people. I mean, I'm just so blessed. Um, so I got a table and chairs today and I'm gonna get that recliner that was offered to me today. And um, where was I going with this? Oh, the girl that's giving me the table. She's, her, she's got a lease till the end of September, but she would like to move in and take the front half of my house when her lease is up, because she's trying to save money and I made a deal with her where she'd give me a certain amount plus half the utilities and that would be allow her to pay off some bills and save some money plus give me the little the extra money that I need because I could almost make all my bills out of my social security as long as I never ate ever again <laughs> or bought any clothes ever again I mean just to pay all my other bills although with gas going up maybe not I don't know about you guys but our gas last time I looked was up to 460 something and this is Texas where we have cheap gas so I can't imagine how some of you people like in California or wherever are paying you're probably pushing six bucks now it's crazy I heard on the radio they think it might hit eight bucks by the end of summer that's just nuts I mean we we could be easily be self-sufficient we were self-sufficient without getting oil from other countries in 2020 and then now all well, hell broke loose and we're dying here with gas prices. <sighs> you like my red blouse? Isn't it pretty? I think I got this from Stitch Fix. I should wear this on. It's a 4th of July kind of dress, kind of blouse to wear, but I look good in red, so I wore it to church today. I just never changed. <laughs> I'm not unpacking today. I went, oh, I went grocery shopping a couple days ago and got stuff like spices and 
you know, flour and sugar and oil and all those kind of things that you kind of have on hand. And I spent like, I don't know, I think 140 bucks a couple days ago. And I went today and got like actual food. Like I got some salmon and I got some tilapia and I wanted to get chicken breast, but they didn't have any. I've been to two different stores and they didn't have chicken breast. Really? That's crazy. Um, so I got those kinds of things. I got a little bit of convenience foods, but mostly like vegetables and meats and, you know, food type stuff. $180. So over two, two shopping trips, I spent over $300 just trying to stock up my, you know, and I still need to get things like, I need a toilet plunger and a toilet brush and I don't have a pitcher that fits in my refrigerator and just little stuff like that. Went to Dollar Tree and I got some screwdrivers and, and some pliers and I bought a hammer at Walmart so I'd at least have some basic tools on hand because people have been coming over and doing stuff for me and they're like, do you have any tools? And I'm like, no. <laughs> my, my good friend, Tanya, you met, if you watched my Ikea video, you saw a little glimpse of Tanya. She and I have been friends for over 20 years. Um, and she just lives oh, about a mile away. She's up the road and her husband's such a sweetheart. He came over and helped. She was giving me a desk and he brought it, brought it over. And then he's looking, he's like, you need your trees trimmed. So he leaves, goes, gets his electric trimmer. And he, remember when I, at the beginning of my home video, I'm like, I need to trim the, you know, trim all the suckers off these trees. He came over and did all that for me. And when you looked out my back window, you couldn't hardly see out the window because the tree was so bushy. He trimmed all that off. He trimmed all the trees in my backyard, all the trees in my front yard, just because he's got a servant's heart. I just have such great friends. It's just amazing. I can so tell God's in this mood because of just the outpouring of everything I need, everything I could possibly need or want is just coming my way. It's just amazing. Alrighty, enough teary-eyed. If you haven't tried ice cream, it's E-Y-E -E scream. Instead of I-C-E, -E, it's E-Y-E -E scream. It's I scream instead of I ice cream. So it's E-Y-E-S-C-R-E-A-M. Anyway, give it, give them a try. They always have good stuff and it's good brands. And for 20, 30 bucks, you get a lot of stuff. You always get a nice palette. And I love that tulip palette. It is so stinking cute. Hope y'all are doing great and have a wonderful week coming up. I'll try and do a mess Monday, but I don't know. My life's kind of crazy right now. We'll see if I can pull something together for a mess Monday. So you may see me tomorrow. I don't know. It's craziness around here. As you can see by looking, I still got, oops, I can get the whole thing to turn. Oops, I can't, the, something's getting in the way. There we go, ooh, boxes, see all those boxes? These boxes have to go in my bedroom and those boxes over there, that's all my craft junk. <laughs> My granddaughter's coming over sometime this week and gonna help me kind of do something with all the craft stuff. So, and then eventually I'm gonna paint my bedroom and I'm gonna paint the front rooms and some friends are gonna come over and help me get stuff up on the walls. And my son's gonna put some shelves up for me behind my chair here so it'll look like it did before when I was filming with the my turtle and my little knickknacks and all that, it'll, they'll go back up on the shelves behind me like they did before. Because that's my, that's my signature, the turtle. <laughs> all right, love y'all. Have a good day, good week.